tonight we have an expo of our flexible learning programs and it's specifically designed for our mentored learning group. They have a very personalised program, they interact with the community on a regular basis and in fact we put them together with community men mentors. Um, those mentors are part of their everyday life in fact. They can touch base with them regularly through the school week um, and it, they build up a, a wonderful relationship. It's basically about linking kids in with a, a mentor within the community that they can learn off around a passion they're both really interested in. The interesting thing is that the mentors really want to give back to the community and they see our children as the future and so their gift is, is really giving of themselves in an area that they're comfortable in. It's specifically about relationships, not only are they are learning to interact with various and diverse people but also too they get this relationship with a significant adult apart from family members or school teachers and they see how the world works and the big picture. We spoke to the school and the school with an arrangement with the school they sent him down here to learn a little bit of what was going on. Mm -hmm. um, since then he's been doing a mechanical course mm -hmm. um, which is uh, you know, he's been working in the workshop full time of a day a week with um, um, qualified motor mechanics um, and which he's picked up quite well on. At a couple of times we've suggested that he has a little bit more um, he needs to go in other areas of reading and writing and, and those spelling um, and he's responded to those quite well too. Uh, I've had ongoing uh, work with Daniel, uh, we've been presenting uh, lessons, we've uh, attended an AFL game day and had a half time experience with all the young players so they've come along, that was fantastic. Uh, we're also now preparing for their trophy presentations and their, you know, their final uh, barbecue for the year so that they're all ready and primed for next year and feeling motivated to be on Australian football. Well, she's been coming once a week and she's been going very well. I've seen her confidence grow in the time. Um, she started off um, just mainly observing and then as she was here um, a few weeks we allowed her to do a few little things that she was able to and she's taken to that quite well and it's good to see her confidence grow and that she's able to interact and um, I think it's a great opportunity for young people to be able to see if they really like, feel that they would like to be in this area before they're, they're committed to it. Um, I'm probably learning more because as I said hands-on is made, I can learn better doing hands-on theory stuff, reading and having to sit in the classroom. I wouldn't learn how to service a vehicle out of a book. It's because it's something I like about football, so I put my head down and do me work. It uh, does help young people, we believe, uh, become involved and understand the requirements of the workforce. So it's, uh, I think, uh, you know, a very good connection to have and I think it's a very valuable thing that the school's doing in uh, making those um, partnerships and networks for their young people. He seems to have plenty of energy and whatever I think he'll make, for sure. I'm Simon Rechberger and I'm in Grade 6. Hi, I'm Jessica and I'm in Grade 6. Um, my name's Brennan Wells, I'm in Grade 6 and I'm in 5-6 Duncan. What would you like to learn about in school? What's your, sort of most, what's your favourite thing? Football. Shetland ponies because they've got like heaps of history behind them and they make good companions. Maths. Maths is my favourite topic. We live like near the bush and I usually go up making cubbies and when we're making cubbies we try and we figure out areas that we're going to make it in, make it so, yeah, we're going to plan it out. Owls, because they're great hunters and they can see night when other normal birds can't. I would choose the main species, like the barn owls and the eagle owls and the hawk owls, or maybe some native Australian ones, and focus on those few ones. I suppose for a number of years now we've been trying to create opportunities for learning that takes us away from one model fits all. I put it to the staff and out of that meeting 18 of the teachers put their hands up and said well look we're prepared to have a go. So I wrote something in the newsletter and inviting parents to come along and be a part of a meeting. 187 turned up. Never had meetings like that here before. 
And it was, what was extraordinary was the parents were there before us. So the questions they were asking and the things they were talking about, it, it was almost like as if, well, obviously. We know that uh, when we match young people with people who know their stuff, um, shared passion, interest, the learning looks a whole lot different. I really enjoy working with horses. That's one, you know, one of my main things that like, even got me into the agriculture industry. This is my shearing time, this is a bit of wool. You know, if you're just in a class, like an English class or something, and you're doing what they want you to do, but if you come to them and say, hey, you know, read this poetry I've written, and then, like, it's more of a connection between teacher and student. For art, um, I chose to do photography because I'm interested in photography and I looked in and um, learned more about aperture, ISO, shutter speed and noise and then I did some experimentation. That's at the school. Um, I called it Lone Soldier. There was originally a whole bunch of birds in the tree but they flew away and there was one left and I'm pretty happy with the result that I got from the sunlight and the clouds. It resonates with people and so I suppose what I've, I've just taken the confidence of of, of those people in, in what we've been doing. When I'm out and about, and I go out and about all the time, these kids are always coming up to me and telling me where they are. The kids in other classes, you know, they, don't ha they can't have the same conversations. Fundamentally, it's about kids pursuing their passions and, and, and kids finding their interests. And it drives the whole thing. And I, I mean, I don't have the evidence yet, but my suspicion is that these kids will perform better.